You like the chickens? Chickens. Chickens. Huh? What's that? Chicken. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Where's yeah. the chickens? Okay. Chickens? Yeah. We did our daily count. Five. Five turkey chicks doing really well. Let's clean up their water. Oh, yeah. That's a turkey. Can you say turkey? It's greenhouse update time. The mint got all perky this morning. All happy. That's our scallions. They're the peas. The peas is looking to climb already on something. And greenhouse update. Corn is ready to go out as soon as we have a spot ready for them. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll have a spot ready for them. These are the trees we planted, replanted and replanted. Here's two more. Uh, what else do we have here? Celery. Huckleberries. Oh, here we have asparagus. Look at that. Okay, asparagus is a perennial. A perennial means it comes up every single year again and again. Now, for asparagus, you don't use it the first year or two till it gets like big and strong. And then you get it for 15 years, it comes back without doing anything. That's a perennial. Everything else is annuals beets, corns. Tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, they all are annuals. Annuals means that every year you have to replant them. So here we have annual flowers are doing beautiful. We have our chamomile, which we separated out, and they're doing really well as well. Um, the ones we separated out. Cucumbers, zucchini. Look at that zucchini ready to go out in the garden. Cucumbers too. So tomatoes are doing amazing. Now let me show you these tomatoes from this row. It says tomato kitchen. So this row of tomatoes is literally we went to the kitchen, took a tomato, squirted it open, took out the seeds, and planted them. And you'd never know. So, growing beautifully, kitchen tomatoes. You can do the same with peppers. There's two things growing together. Okay, there's two things growing together here. We have the pepper that we planted. It's something that's coming up from the compost that we used. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to pull it out gently. Okay, because according to Halacha, you're not allowed to plant two things in the same hole. We didn't plant two things in the same hole. We only planted peppers. This came up by itself. So I just, every time I see something that comes up that's not what we planted, I just pick it out. These are the eggplants. We have some milkweed flowers. We have some doing this morning. We have the sweet boys out here that's helping us make another batch of our potting mix for um, planting some more seeds. We're planting watermelon, melon, and um, all different stuff. I'll tell you as soon as I get it organized. Second on the list for today is the peas. The peas are starting to recuperate and it needs to grow up, it needs a vine. So what I'm gonna do, for a vine is really simple. And this is where we have bamboo growing. See that bamboo? So all I have to do is
Okay, so I have here one, two. We're gonna stick in one, two, and th whoops. Okay, this one is this one's cracked on me. I'll go get another one. Okay, I think this one. Okay. This is the third one. And then I'm going to take this rope. Okay. Let's see how long this is going to last. We have a knot on top. If you haven't been with us in our previous vlog, you can check out our seed starting vlog. But this is what we're doing. We have a block, okay? It just looks like this. We put our mix in, and you push down really, really well. Okay? Then when it's all full in the bottom, you come to your tray. Push down and lift. Okay, and then you have ready holes to put your seeds in, and it's a beautiful, beautiful system. The, tra the trays I got from um, Neve Kitchen, they are around 50 years old and are not being in use. Even kids in helmets can do this. Right, Israel? He did this whole tray by himself. And look, watch him work. Pushing it down, pushes down and pulls up. Beautiful. Okay, it's been a long afternoon. We have some quiet, the kids were playing basketball before, so I couldn't hear myself talking. So I'm gonna talk now. Um, so we did some more soil blocks. We needed to plant more seeds because I didn't plant a lot of seeds yet. I have watermelon that we're going to plant here. I have butternut squash and Big Mac huge, huge squashes that I'm going to try to plant. Never, never had success with them before. But we'll try. So these are the seeds. Look how huge. They look like the ones for eating almost. And I'm not sure which end which end is the one you put down, but I'm just gonna stick it in. So this is a squash, and we're gonna plant them over here in this garden behind because it's just a sprawling area. They have to sprawl, so we're going to clear room at, behind that tree. We're going to clear room out, put in a garden bed, and yesterday we cut a watering hose when we were trying to clear out the back. Let's show you. This is what we're trying to clear out. Now, you see this is all paved. If you, if you walk with me, the pavement actually is till this line okay but till this line is the pavement that's all pavement that the ivy's just been growing on but we're gonna try it's really hard to pull out ivy but we're gonna try to pull out ivy in this area so that we can plant here it's very wet here now so this is the this is the hose that we cut by mistake yesterday trying to take out the ivy but I just cut it all the way and closed it with a rubber band. So now the water should hopefully start going down. And pulling out ivy is really a time consuming job. You sort of like pull, it's like also very satisfactory because you like pull a root and it keeps on pulling and pulling. So the kids, the kids like, like doing that. So that might be a good job for them. 
And then we're gonna plant here the watermelon and the pumpkins. Anything that has to sprawl is gonna go in this area. The tower that I made this morning that I'll looking nice. What else did we do today? Well, I just shoved things over so I should have more room. We put in more flowers, echinacea, calendula, marigolds, comfrey. This whole tray is new from today. Um, I took another one of the pots. Remember, remember I said that these pots divided because it's too much growing together. So one pot is divided over here and, and back here I have another pot, one pot. And I was able to divide it on this whole tray. So, yeah, I, I'm hesitating. Before I plant anything in the big, big garden, I really uh, have to clip the chicken's wings. I've never done that before. So I talk about it a lot. I've actually never done it. So I'm not, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. To do it I know how to do it but I've never actually done it so we'll see maybe later today I'll actually do it and then we can plant the corn